friends, Mozario here. Welcome to my channel, Mozario Design. We're going to get started with part three of our uh, 10 part tutorial series. Uh, we're doing three, 3D CAD parts. Uh, I'd like to note a few things. The, uh, there's a link in the description to all of the CAD drawings if you want to follow along. I'm using Windows 10 operating system, so all of my keystrokes and everything will correspond with the system. And um, of course, you know, at the end of the video, if you know, if you dig what you know you are seeing and everything, uh, you're able to follow along, you like what I'm doing, uh, please like and subscribe. I appreciate all the support I can get. All right, so we go ahead and get started. We're going to start with the top view. We're going to build the base of the part, and then. Uh, do some ex a couple of extrusions uh, from there. Uh, block in our ID, OD, and well, our IDs, um, inside diameters, and then uh, we'll get right through the part. So let's start with the top view. What we'll do, uh, we could work from center line or we can work in one of these quadrants. Uh, let's just keep it simple and work in one of these quadrants. So when you go to the top view, and you click on create sketch you click on the face and it's going to lock in our uh, design to the top view and then let's do a two-point triangle from uh, the center of uh, the origin left click it so also I like to note that all of the dimensions are in millimeters so you can go over to your document settings and you know change it up if you want so uh, Let's try that again. All right, so the width of the part is 60. Let's see. And then the length of the part was 100. Okay. Now, uh, let's go ahead and extrude this. Or we can actually build up the base while we have the design here. So we got a couple options. You know what? Let's go ahead and just design right on it. That way we can extrude this as one part, uh, as one entity, I guess. All right, so from the center of this part, let's draw a construction line. So you go over to your construction. The sketch palette should pop up. If not, uh, you can go to your preferences and stuff and make it pop up, but it should just pop up on its own. So hover over to roughly the center line and there it is all right so when you go over to the midpoint left click it drag it up and we're going to go up 33 millimeters okay now let's see the radius calls for 15 which means the diameter is 30 so um we can do, let's see how we're going to do this. We can do it a couple of ways. Let's turn off our construction line. Right. There we go. Okay, so what I did just wanted to test that out uh, so we're going up to our center diameter circle and it's going to give us a few options on how we can execute this so what I did I chose a two-point circle and you just take it from um, this point here click on it that'll be the first point when you drag it down you want to drag it along this center line that we created so the radius is 50 15 which means the diameter is going to be 30 so let's type in 30 all right select enter and there you have it now to complete this segment you want to um we want to throw a couple of solid lines in there that's going to start from the tangent well the um let's see the left side of this diameter so you want to take it from the center line um, I'm sorry the center point and kind of drag it over you see how it snaps you want to left click it and then drag it down there you go 
and then do the same thing here. And since we have it locked in on one side, it's going to let us select the other side with ease. Left click it, drag it down, and there you have it. Now let's go to the trim tool. There you go. All right. Press enter on your keyboard and it should be its own entity, right? So we, we need to do some more trimming though. Let's get rid of these center portions. There we go. All right. Now that we have the base of the part. So this is what we're going to use to extrude. Finish the sketch. Click on a little home icon that's for the isometric view left click the profile and then extrude going up so you want to extrude 16 millimeters okay all right so we have our first extrusion done all right so uh we have people next door doing long work so hopefully uh y'all can hear me over you know all the commotion outside so um we're going to left click this platform and draw right on it so it's highlighted in blue which means we select it create sketch and it's going to take us right to the view now what we want to do is create uh, oh before we do anything let's project so go up to create Go down to project and we want to project this surface onto our uh, drawing plane. Press OK. So everything is selectable now uh, that we, you know, the, the platform we extruded is all selectable. It's got corner, intersection points, everything. So this is what we want. Now let's do a construction line from the midpoint and then just kind of drag it down. There you go. All right. Now, our next step, let's do, let's set some um, construction lines. We don't have to go crazy with it. Let's do a construction line from this point. Okay. So left click that intersection and go up 68 millimeters. Okay. Left click it to lock it in. All right, now from there, uh, it calls for, so the next, por the next part we're gonna create is that little top portion that sits on top of the, the base, right? The platform that we extruded. So let's see. Ah, there we go. Okay, we can do it like that. So, um, let's create another uh, line, a uh, construction line that goes from that intersection we created, and we're going to just drag it over. Okay, we setting ourselves up right now. Then from that point, that intersection, we're going to go up another twenty mil. Okay, there we go. And then we're going to create a line that goes from there across. Okay. So now we have the width of that, um, that top portion created, which is 20 millimeters. Now from the center, this is why I did the construction lines the way I did. Because honestly, from here, we can go, let's turn off our construction line. Let's turn it off. Go back up to our two point rectangle. And we can create, we can start creating that top portion. So since we did a, uh, we're going from center line, the dimensions will call for 20 mil by 20 mil. There you go. And then we just do the same thing on the other side. Press enter and then let's use the trim tool to get rid of some of these line segments. We don't need them all. Get rid of the construction lines. We get rid of that line. We don't need that. There you go. So if you press enter on your keyboard, it should be its own surface that's you know selectable. 
Actually, let's get rid of a few more. Let's see. Let's use the trim tool. We're going to get rid of this, this, this. We don't need these anymore. They're a little distracting. That's why I'm getting rid of them. All right. So, get rid of that. Get rid of that. There we go. Okay, good. So, uh, let's go ahead and finish the sketch. And let's extrude this. Let's go uh, to our isometric and we're going to extrude this so the dimension calls for 34 mil. There we go. All right, so that's exactly what we want. So we're actually almost done. We're going to uh, draw on this face here. So if you select this face and create sketch, we'll be able to draw right on it. And we're going to go down to create, project, and do the same thing. Okay. Now, uh, from here, oh, let's do a construction line. Or we should be able to find a midpoint. Let's see if we use the center diameter circle function, we should be able to do a midpoint. So let's see if it, uh, if we drag it from here, this intersection, it should lock it in. There it is. Even better. So let's lock that in. Left click it. Now, the radius calls for 12 which means the diameter is uh, 24. Let's just throw in a diameter, press enter, and now we have that. So let's modify, let's trim. I'm sorry, let's do the trim, and we're gonna trim it. Press enter on your keyboard. Don't finish the sketch yet. You wanna make sure this is selectable. It's a selectable profile, which it is. So when you hover over it, it should highlight blue. Just like if we wanted to do anything with that, it should highlight blue, right? So let's finish the sketch and we're going to extrude this. So left click that profile, extrude, and just run it right through the part. Okay. Press OK and the part is now complete. All right. So that's how you do it. It's, it's really that simple. I thank you all for joining in today. Um, of course, you know, like and subscribe. I appreciate all the support I can get. And the next uh, design is going to be part four of this 10 part series. Again, I thank you all for joining in. And uh, until next time.